We're just gonna run through a few examples of how we can use autofill and flash fill in Microsoft Excel. Click in the cell and use our autofill cursor in the bottom corner here. And when we autofill, Excel will determine if there's a pattern that it should follow. And for this one, we just want the same number to be copied down. On the next one, we really want a series of consecutive numbers. When we autofill, we can use the autofill options, which is this box here. And let's choose a series. And if we want Excel to follow our pattern, such as a number sequence going up by five, we need to select both cells that represent our pattern. Then we can autofill and boom. When it comes to autofill in text, there are some words that Excel already understands. If we autofill this cell here, Excel gets really clever and creates a pattern that actually makes sense. And we can override that by using the autofill options. When we select Friday and get our autofill cursor, we can save even more time. Instead of dragging down, we can simply double click. For our custom column, we want Excel to follow our pattern, which is every two months. Select both cells before we autofill. Let's build our formula. And we're just adding this number plus this number. Grab our autofill cursor and drag down. When we autofill formulas, we need to understand how relative and absolute cell references work in Excel. And there is a dedicated video on my channel that covers that very topic. Dates is also a special kind of data that Excel understands. On our first date, we want the pattern to increase the date by one day at a time. On the second column, we want to increase by one month at a time. We can use the autofill options to change the pattern. And we can do a similar thing for our third column to get the pattern to increment by one year at a time. So basically, autofill is a real time saver. And here's another great example. Select all three cells, get our autofill cursor, and drag down. Let's have a quick look at flash fill and what is the difference. With autofill, we have the option of changing the pattern after we autofill. This makes it a lot more versatile. Flash fill, on the other hand, is all about recognizing patterns based on what we're typing and the data that's nearby. So we can type out our first name, autofill it down, and choose flash fill from the options. And then suppose we wanted our surnames to be in capital letters. We type out the first surname as we want it to appear. Autofill down. And choose flash fill and if you agree that Excel is absolutely fantastic do let me know by leaving your comments and I will look forward to responding in the meantime we are done